Hey, how y'all doing? So we got one trade to go over this morning, and that is GBPJPY. So let's get into it. Let's break it down. First things first, we're going to start here in my free Discord chat room. And if any of you guys want to join that free Discord chat room, a chat room where I post my charts every single morning that the market is open, I get my analysis on things, my thought process, and also, not to mention, you have tons of free educational material in this chat so if any of you guys want to join that there's going to be a link to that in the video description so this is the very first thing that i posted the very first chart that i posted this morning i said morning so gbp jpy only thing on my watch list at the moment bouncing off four hour support all right so it's the only thing on my watch list for my particular strategy there's that four hour support so we have an old high inside or not inside um, we have an old high in a discount marketplace and then we had a reaction off that level in the lower time frame. All right, we're going to clear this off. We're going to start from scratch like we always do. So first things first, let's go to the daily chart. So bias on this today was bullish, 100% bullish. Why is it bullish? Because look at this trend. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that this thing is bullish, that it's operating within a bullish market structure, consistently putting in higher lows, consistently making new highs, which means it's in a bullish market structure. So right away, I'm trading with the overall trend. Okay, that one thing alone puts odds in my favor. Now, four hour market structure clearly bullish as well, but also we were bouncing off of a higher time frame level of support being the old high. Now it's not inside of a fair value gap. It would have been better if it was inside of a fair value gap, most definitely, but it's not 100% necessary. But what is important here is the fact that it's in a discount and even gave key Fibonacci retracement. So we're gonna take our Fibonacci from that low to that high. And you can see how it traded below 50% equilibrium with that price range, testing that level. And then it even hit 61% retracement on the FIB. So we had that's that was our key level of support, higher time frame level of support. What's next? We're, we already know. We already know that we're trading with a higher time frame trend. We know that we got a higher time frame level. Price came down. Now we need what? We need a reaction. Okay. So my main lower time frame charts are the one hour, 30 minute, 15 minute. Okay. Now, real quickly, I'm going to put in some data dividers. All righty. So you can see this morning, we had this big leg down right here, aka the Judas swing, which um, it was a fairly big displacement lower, I got to say, originally taken taken out um, sell side liquidity right here on this move lower, though. What did we like? What, what did that hard sell off come down into? It came down into the higher time frame support. All right. And then right after coming down into the higher time frame support, we get a nice big move up, breaking high of day, leaving a bullish fair value gap. All right, there is our fair value gap confirmation on the shift in market structure. Not the best close above the level, kind of wiki in there, which isn't ideal, but we had our fair value up confirmation. We took liquidity and it was off of a higher time frame level. So right there alone, we have everything we need on the play. Okay. Another bonus is the fact that previous day's highs wasn't tapped at the time either. That is always, always, always ideal. Okay. When we don't, whenever our bias is bullish, and at the time that I take the trade, that buy side liquidity being previous day's highs is not taken out. That is a huge, huge plus for the play whenever we have that criteria. And that's one for the notes. Very important. All right. So at that point, it's good. We have, we're trading with the daily trend. We have our higher time frame, four hour level. We have our lower time frame reaction. Previous day's highs left untapped, giving it even more, making it even juicier of a play. So yeah, that was what we wanted. Now, so I held off a little bit on my entry. Let me go to the Discord real quick to show you what I posted. I don't even know if this was correlated with GBP JPY. I don't, I don't know if it was, but just to play it safe, because we had news this morning, 945 at 945. So you can see I said, not interested in GBP JPY yet letting news get done okay so 9 45 i let that news get done just to play it safe let all that you know just to make sure i don't get caught in nothing ugly and also there was one thing i didn't like about it as well was the fact that let me go to a 15 minute a little bit cleaner to see i didn't like that either that was a minus for the play see those equal lows right there so i know we had news that coming up at 9 45 i know we had equal lows right here so yeah that made me kind of hesitant i don't i don't want to you know get on premature i want to let that news get done and then after the news is done then we can reassess the news happened there wasn't really much of a reaction at all and then right after that news get done oh and also one more thing for an entry what do i need i want to make sure i cover this in detail because i always have people asking even though i've went over it i don't know how many times in my videos what do you like what do you look for like what is your entry criteria that's still a question that i get all the time and i thought i'd make it i mean maybe i'm not maybe i'm not clear in my videos i don't know but for an entry as i said first thing you, you want to see that fair value gap confirmation created off the level but next what you want to do is you want to take the low to the high of that displacement and you want to measure that range okay my entry needs to be in a discount marketplace 
So see how right here, look at my cursor, look where it's moving. See how that's 50% equilibrium in that price range. I need my entry to be in a discount within that price range. And it needs to be, it needs to have that fair value gap confirmation. Okay. So in this case, we completely rebalance that price action, that fair value gap, and it's in a discount marketplace. At that point, it is a good trade. According to my rules, that is a good trade if it's traded down to a discount and it's in that fair value gap. That's good. That's, that's good to go at that point. Okay. So right after the news got done at 9.45 a.m., I hopped in, marketed into it, and my PT on it, previous day's highs, my stop, low of day. And as you can see, just, just beautiful, beautiful follow through on this thing.